So I'm going to be a real big cheese ball and probably deliver this really poorly right now. But do you know what I'm looking at right now? What? It's like a line from the movie. Oh. I'm looking Sweetest at the filmmakers people? behind one of my favorite, yes. I mean, that's the real line. Yes. But I'm looking at the people behind one of my favorite movies of 2022. Oh, thanks. I feel very confident in saying that even this early in the year. Wow, that's that means Thank so much. You. Thank I can't you. congratulate you enough. I also am a big believer that we don't see enough Bar Bat Mitzvah movies yes, out don't. there. So this brought me back to the good old days and it did make me wonder, 13 year old you, if you could go back in the day and create a Bar and Bat Mitzvah theme of your Ooh. choice, what would each of you pick and why? Well, you know what? I realized that I didn't, I think maybe, maybe I went to one Bar Mitzvah, but I went yeah. to an all girls Catholic school. So it's a Bat Mitzvah. Well, no, oh, I think no. I went to like... Oh, no, it's not a... Right, they weren't Jewish. No. Right, right, right. There were none, so right. that wasn't really a And thing. if they were, they were like not inviting the class to it because they didn't want people to know. That they were Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> just having a solo bar mitzvah? <laughs> but I think I went to one and it was like I was going with a friend from a different school to one of their friends' bar mitzvahs. Right, and meeting new people. Oh, yeah. That's really So fun. I don't know, but I guess I would... Probably do like Satan themed. Oh, great. Yeah. I would go that, to that bar mitzvah. That would be sexy. <laughs> I feel like Vanessa, you do. Also Satan. No. <laughs> I as well. Um, no, but I feel like you do music or like. Well, I would musicians. do one of those ones where like you put, like everyone has their own pair of headphones. Oh, yes. yeah. You've done that. Yes. Yeah. And then I would do probably like a punk theme or something. Oh, that sounds really great. That's like a silent disco. You've th you've really thrown that party. You've thrown oh, silent yeah, yeah. disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a silent disco. You have disco. to do that. That sounds so fun. A punk themed silent disco where you look like you're listening to punk music, but really it's 24 <laughs> karat magic. <laughs> Cooper, what you going for? Uh, Bruno Mars theme. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, all three of these options are way cooler than Perry's Plaza because I was obsessed with the mall and oh. now I will never forget it. That sounds really fun, though. That's pretty cool. It yeah. was fun back in the day. I might switch it up to Satan now. That's a really yes. good idea. Right. Uh, Cooper, for you. So making your very first feature is a big deal. It's a very challenging thing to pull off, but getting your second feature off the ground can be equally as challenging. So what would you say was the key thing you did between Shit House and this that got Cha Cha Real Smooth the green light? I found the Dakota Johnson, I got on a Zoom with her. I got on a Zoom with her producing partner, Ro Donnelly, and I told her about an idea for a movie. I told her about a title. And then Ro told Dakota, there's a movie called Cha Cha Real Smooth. And she was like, all right, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll meet. Well, no, I first I was like, I'm doing it. But also, <laughs> I'll meet him. So we met and she was in Greece and it was really a uh, late night for her and we hit it off and we were off to the races. Mm -hmm. Makes me very happy to hear that. So I was also reading that the two of you workshopped a lot of stuff on set and you wanted to have that kind of spontaneity when you're preparing scenes and working on dialogue and stuff like that. So is there any particular scene that I can see in the finished film where something changed on the spot last minute and it changed for the better? All of them, yeah. Yeah, a lot. Most of our stuff mm -hmm. was, we just cut either like deepened things or took out fluff stuff. And we were, we were even in scenes, like sometimes right before a scene, we would look at the page and be like, let's rewrite it. But even some, like during a scene, mm -hmm. I feel like Dakota would say something and we'd go down a bit of a different path. And it, uh, it was always trying to figure out what was the most alive, dangerous, funniest, but still saying what we want the scene to say. Great success in that department. Vanessa, for you, I'm very curious. In real life, are you really good at bananagrams? No. <laughs> I don't think I've played in four years. I found it to be the most boring game ever. Why would I ever <laughs> want to play that? It was originally supposed to be Scrabble, but I think we couldn't, uh, couldn't clear, clear that. Yeah. Scrabble. I love bananagrams, and I'm kind of good at it, and my family won't play with me anymore. Oh, so I, I love said. bananagrams. It's just a little, like, it's, it's kind of stressful, but. It is. Yeah. Keep you on your toes, that's yes. the best part. Uh, Vanessa, so your first film here and you're working with some of the best of the best. Is there anything you saw Cooper or Dakota do on set that you thought was really cool and you want to try on your next movie? Um, it's okay to say well, no. Well, if I say no, is that bad? No, no it's not. not at all. Not, you can say no. Not really, I felt fine as myself. There were certain things that uh, Vanessa did that I think we uh, yeah. would take for, I think everything, yeah. 
I actually think that's probably the best answer to that question I can imagine. <laughs> for sure, yeah. I like the idea of believing in yourself and your own craft there. Yeah. Uh, Dakota, for you, I always get very thrilled when I see actors with really big platforms starting to put their weight behind the movies they believe in as a producer. So Cha Cha Real Smooth is one of the first for you. Why did you want that to be one of the first? And what are some of your priorities in producing going forward? I think Cha Cha was one of the first films that basically was ready to go. Like when we when we finished writing, um, we were able to make it. It was during the pandemic. I was available. Everybody else was available. So that one was ready. The uh, my company has. I really had to check my schedule. But <laughs> yeah, you I really. Was, we really had to move some things free. around. Yeah. Jostle his schedule. <laughs> um, I felt like my company makes really specific movies and very authentic. Very. We really believe in um, telling the truth and telling stories with um, that have real grounded characters and real authentic characters in them. And this just was so much that. And um, I really love producing. I love being involved in making a movie from the beginning to the very end, whereas as an actress, I don't have that luxury. So it's really, really amazing to be able to make my own movies now. I'm very excited for you in that department and starting here is quite strong. You guys really accomplished something else. Before they get me out of here, I wanted to squeeze in one Madam Web question just because I feel like you expect oh, that course. at this point. But I, I am curious because one of the reasons why you're one of my favorite actors out there is because of the, the films you've done, particularly in the last five years, just like really bold, unique, one of a kind films that are made on a bit of a smaller scale compared to something like that. So is there anything about your experience working on those types of films since doing something like Fifty Shades, Need for Speed, that now has changed your approach to working on a big studio feature like that? I don't know, I guess having experience um on all tiers of films, I I can bring um, maybe some stuff from the little movies to the big movies that I I want to see in them. You know, I really love seeing like large scale films that still have heart in them, and um, we love Top Gun. We love Top Gun. Everyone loves Top Gun. Love We're, Top Gun. Yeah, everyone does. Yeah. Exactly like Top Gun. I want to make Top Gun. Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you're bringing some cats over, aren't some you? Some cats? Some uh, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> to, to Madam Web, aren't you bringing... From Top Gun? No. <laughs> Are you bringing some people from Top Gun? I am bringing some people I'm from I'm directing Madam Web. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, now I'm even more... No, you have no, great, but she, but she great is, yeah. around that. <laughs> no, and like, uh, even people from Cha Cha and some from Am I OK? are coming on to Madam Web with me. It's cool. It's fun to be able to start creating like a real team of people that make movies. I was really excited when I thought cats meant like furry cats. But yeah. like those cats are cool. I was like, I'm so bringing fine. some cats. She's bringing Zeppelin, a dog. So I am bringing Zeppelin for sure. And some cats. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear it. I mean it. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. Huge congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you.